retired Gulf War veteran Jack Delaney had seen his fair share of conflict. Here's on the battlefield. He sought solace in the routine of his quiet civilian life, finding peace in the camaraderie of the gym. There, he formed an unlikely bond with Rick Townsend, a sharp-witted ethical hacker who, like Jack, had a fascination with alternative theories about the world and its secrets. They'd often swap stories about everything from government cover-ups to ancient prophecies. But one evening, Rick called with something far more serious. I found something. Something big. Jack drove through the night to Rick's apartment. Nick unexpectedly bumps into an old friend. This friend once studied church Latin at the Vatican Library. During their conversation, casually mentions he still has the password to the Vatican Library's digital archives. Nick quickly notes down the password. And there it is. Manuscripts, even encrypted messages that could rewrite history. Jack, they have a program. A sophisticated advanced AI that predicts all future biblical events. Every single prophecy with pinpoint accuracy. There's an event coming. Soon. It talks about an abyss being opened. Something like a furnace with smoke rising from it. Or something powerful that triggers it. When it happens, locust-like creatures will emerge to torment humanity for five months. They're ruled by a being called Apollyon, or Abaddon. Jack's military instincts kicked in. Where is this supposed to happen? Rick pulled up a map on his computer. Here's the thing. I cross-referenced the prophecies with known geological sites. And I found something. There's an oil refinery in Iran, in Abaddon. Right over what could be the abyss mentioned in the Bible. You think it's under an oil refinery? I don't think it's a coincidence, Jack. We have to find out. At a prophecy conference, Jack and I met Marcus Creed, an older weathered man with a reputation for building tunnels and quenching fires during the Gulf War. Creed had been part of the team that helped cap the oil well blowouts Saddam Hussein had left in his way. We told him about our theory, and to our surprise, Creed didn't laugh. Instead, he nodded thoughtfully. I've been to Abaddon. There were rumors about strange geological features beneath the refinery. If you're right about this abyss, I want in. The three of us hatched a plan. Using Creed's old contacts, they were able to sneak into the refinery. Under the cover of night, they descended into the vast network of tunnels below the refinery. They speculated that a hidden shaft might lead to the abyss. Strange shadows danced on the walls and eerie sounds echoed through the tunnels. Jack pressed forward, but the oppressive sense of dread grew with every step. As they moved through the narrow passageways, they stumbled upon a hidden shaft. The walls were lined with strange symbols. Do you hear that? It sounds like whispers. And then they saw it, watching them with eyes that glowed with an unholy light. An enormous ancient door, standing ominously in the depths of the earth. It was crafted from a black, smooth stone. My scanner lit up with warnings of seismic activity far beneath us. The door began to shift. And from the darkness behind it, figures emerged. Run! We bolted through the tunnels, the supernatural guardians chasing us, their eyes glowing with malevolent intent. The tunnels collapsed behind us as we sprinted for our lives. Shadows of monstrous figures loomed closer. The abyss was real and the creatures within it were more horrifying than we could have ever imagined. The book of Revelation is described as the book of the future story you have just watched is founded on a truth written in the Bible. And I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to the earth. The star was given the key to the bottomless pit. The Antichrist is a political leader who performs four signs and wonders, while the destroying angel in Exodus and Apollyon in Revelation share the role in divine judgment. It's scary to see the power of this destroyer and why God has to keep him in the pit. The question is, is Apollyon or Abaddon the same spirit that inhabits the Antichrist in the final seven years of history known as the Great Tribulation? Israel has launched a limited strike against Iran. This, of course, in response to Iran's strike on Israel.
The Bible assures believers that those who put their trust in Jesus will be spared from God's wrath. It emphasizes the importance of faith, trust and a personal relationship with him. If you think this message is prophetic, please subscribe, like and share to pass it on. And thank you very much for watching.